Let's find the age of the universe using Hubble's constant. We start off with an assumption. And the assumption is that the universe is expanding with a constant velocity. So here we have the situation here. The universe is expanding from its beginning with a constant velocity v. So we'll mark that down. Constant velocity v. If that's the case, out to this point here will be a certain time t. And therefore we can work out the distance. The distance out to this point here will just simply be d. And we know then that distance d is actually equal to the velocity times the time. Now I want to have an expression for time, so therefore time, if I rearrange, is equal to distance d divided by v. But I also know that the Hubble law states that the velocity out here, velocity v, is equal to h naught d. Now I can then exchange the v in the denominator with h naught d, and therefore the time t is equal to d on the top divided by h not d on the bottom. The two d's cancel, and I'm left with 1 divided by h naught. So if the time, or the age of the universe, is simply the reciprocal of the Hubble constant. And that's why it's so important to have a very accurate value for the Hubble constant. Now, the value we are taking is this one up here. h naught is equal to 2.34 times 10 to minus 18 seconds to the minus 1. So if we put that into our equation, we should get the age of the universe. So t equals 1 divided by 2.34 times 10 to the minus 18 seconds to the minus 1. Now we do that on our calculator. We end up with a time of the universe equal to 4.27 times 10 to the 17 seconds. That's a long time. We can't get our head around that, so we have to convert all those seconds into something which we can think about. And the best way to do that is to use this little rule here, is that in one year we have 31,557,600 seconds. If you start counting now, we can come back in a year's time and you'll have done that. So to convert that, we just have to take our time t, I'll do this in blue for us, time t is equal to 4.27 times 10 to the 17 seconds, divided by, and we have to divide by how many seconds in one year, 31,557,600 seconds per year. And that's going to give us then the value for the age of the universe in terms of years. So we do that in our calculator. We end up with a value of t equal to 1.35 times 10 to the power 10 years. Amazing amount of years. We can make that into our standard form better by saying that's 13 Point five times 10 to the power 9 years. And therefore, we can finally say that the age of the universe is the following age. It is time t equal to 13.5 billion years old. And that's very accurate, or very close, to say, to the current value. But remember, it all depends on the constant, the Hubble constant, to give us an accurate uh, time or age of the universe. So by this method, the age of the universe is 13.5 billion years.